In this video, we are going to talk about a specific agile practice, which is also one of the first ones, extreme programming, also called XP. Let us look at the definition of XP. XP is a lightweight methodology for small to medium sized teams developing software in the face of vague or rapidly changing requirements. This definition is provided by Kent Beck, the American software engineer that created Extreme Program. By the way, Beck was one of the original 17 developers who signed the Agile Manifesto in 2001. In any Agile framework or practice, there are principles and there are practices that we need to follow. But we are going to do it in a much more in an agile way, in a much more flexible way that we did for our software processes. And also know that the vague and rapidly changing requirements are explicitly mentioned because this is really one of the important parts about all of these agile methodologies. So what is XP? XP is a lightweight, humanistic discipline of software development. It is lightweight because it doesn't overburden the developers with invasive process. Process is kept to a minimum. It's humanistic because as we said, it's centered around people. People, developers, customers are at the center of the process. It's a discipline, as we said, it includes practices that we need to follow and finally, it's of course about software development. Software development is a key point of the whole method. In XP development, it's like driving. Imagine having a road, a windy road, we need to be able to drive our car down this road. Take the road turns, react promptly to changes, for example, obstacles on the road. So in a nutshell, change is the only constant. Eyes always have to be on the road and it's about steering and not pointing. And XP is trying to do the same thing while creating software systems. In XP, we need to adopt a mentality of sufficiency. What does that mean? How would you program if you had all the time in the world, no time constant at all? You'll probably write tests instead of skipping them. You'll probably restructure your code often because you'll see opportunities to improve it. And you'll probably talk with your fellow programmers and with the customers more often, interact with them. And that's exactly the kind of mentality that XP is trying to promote and agile processes in general. And we'll see that following some of those practices that XP is advocating, you can actually achieve these goals and you can actually behave in this way and the development process is going to benefit from it. Next, I'm going to go over some of the XP's values and principles that we just spoke about. The first important value is communication. There are no good projects without good communication. And XP tries to keep the right communication flowing. And there are several practices to do that. For example, pair programming. And we are going to discuss more about that in a later video. Another example is user stories. You know, how the customers are involved in writing all the user stories. The customer involvement in all the activities that help in the communication. And another important principle that we already saw is simplicity. The idea here is live for today without worrying too much about the future. When you have to do something, look for the simplest thing that works. And the emphasis here is on that works. We want to be something simple, but not something very stupid. Something simple that works. Feedback, that's extremely important in XP. Feedback at different levels used to drive changes. For example, Developers write test cases, and that is immediate feedback. If the test cases fail, there is something wrong with the code, or the assumption 
is you still haven't developed it. Developers also estimate new stories right away as soon as they get them from the customer. And that's the immediate feedback to the customer. And finally, on a slightly longer time frame, customers and testers develop together functional system test cases to assess the overall system. And also in this case, that's a great way to provide feedback and also to help in communication. And finally, courage. The courage to throw away code if it doesn't work, to change it if you find a way to improve it, to fix it if you find a problem, to try out new things if you think that they might work better than what you have right now. Now that we can build and test systems very quickly, we can be much braver than what we were before. So how do we accomplish all that and whether expertise practices that are going to help us for follow these principles and add, adhere to these values? These are some of those expertise practices. There are more, but those are the ones that we can discuss in detail individually, like incremental planning, smaller releases, simple design, test first, refactoring, pair programming, continuous integration, and on-site customer. We'll be discussing these practices individually in different videos. Thank you. Thank you.